Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So 1800 and above is basically yeah, a trend that we're going to trend, whether it's bullish or bearish. You know what I'm saying? But Because we opened plus 2,000 stocks going up. That's a bullish day. So we're looking for longs. That's your first hint in the beginning of the day. So you could always put a line in the 1800s. Like, yeah, you know, put, yeah. you, you could specialize that. You know what? I'm going to always have a line in the 1800s. Yes. And on the negative side, too. So, so if it opens below 1800, you basically have the same movement. Mm. So it's here is, then, right here. Yeah, correct. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, correct. So we had a trend day. It was yeah. perfect. So, so, so what, if what, it happens on the 18, negative 1800, you're going to have a bearish day. Correct? Yeah, so I have to come over here and make this. Uh, you can do that. Yeah, put it up negative eighteen hundred. You see that? All right, so let's go to a ne- the day past that. Let's let's look at that. That's your indication right there. Boom. So just keep scrolling. And you're gonna see the next uh, ADD because this is all aftermarket moment. Uh no. It does. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. It's the ADD is a NASDAQ indicator for the mm-hmm. NASDAQ. You should, you should see it. Go to the uh, 30 minute. We're going to find it. We're going to find it. We'll find it. You see the days? Mm-hmm. All right, so find the next day with the ADD. What is it called in TV exactly? Uh, market internals. And I think the developer is uh, Makito or something yeah, like Kido. that. Yeah, Makito, yeah. So that's his. Uh... All right, so just pick any day you want. And then, you know, once we pick that, oh, yeah, pick any day you want. Okay, so now we look at, so was that today or yesterday's? Oh, yeah, go to yesterday's and go to one minute and, and then expand the ADD for that day. Right? So, and then go to the one minute. Oh, that's June 17th. Oh, we need a uh, 24th. 24th, okay. You're looking for a negative 1800, though. Oh, no, no, man. any level. It doesn't matter because every level means something. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, go to that one that went down huge. Here, right? Here, this one here, see? Right? Yeah, go, go in that one and, and the candles, too. So we can look at the whole picture, how that day traded, so people could see. Yeah, and see if you maybe could pull it out in the in the one minute so people can understand it because a lot of people play through the one minute or do you got it or it's gonna we're gonna fix that we got what day was that i forgot 24th oh wait i need a 23rd oh. yeah Would this be easier on like the 15 or the five minute chart? Yeah, you can do the five minute chart if you want. That's fine. As long as we can see the level. Oh, you see how you see a level right there? Let's use that example right there on the bottom. Right here, see right, that? here right? right there, yeah. Also, so it dropped, right? So yeah. the market open. Negative. I can't, I can't even see that. Was it negative 2,000? Yeah, yeah. And guess what happened for the day? It trended negative, down. Yeah, negative like 2,000, see? So what time are you waiting for? Are you waiting for like 9.30 to see where it yeah, opens up? Ni- so yeah, at 9.30, oh, okay. you're going to already know 
you're, you're going to already know automatically how the day is going to be. Oh, night three, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it opened yeah. up, right? It was a gap down. We yeah. we opened up, and boom, the ADD went down, right? Right. Now get close to, yeah, get close to the chart so we can read it. So now you, you see how you have, um, you see how the whole day trending downward? Yeah. It did recover a little bit during the day. Yeah, yeah. But that was here. after market. Yeah. So you can wait to 930. And then after 930, you can get into the trade. Yeah, at 930, you should already know how the market is going to work. Okay. So, okay. So it showed you 1800, below 1800. Yeah, so it opened so, up 18, Yeah, okay. Yeah. So at 930, so, so at 930, when it opens up, it opened, it opened up way below 1800. So at 935, you could have gotten the trade. Yeah, it, correct. You could have waited. Uh, you could have done whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's it was powerful. a bearish day. Yeah, that's So powerful. you will always take a bearish day. Right. So that means you'll be playing puts all day. Right. Yes, that's that's a pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, um, go to the next day. Cause all, it, that's mad powerful. Every, yeah, it is. I know. Damn, I've been trying to explain that. So, so that like you a have to yeah, like a, a reversal point to look for. Yes, there is. It does happen. Like, look, those are all different days. So, so look at that. Look at that day. It gapped down, right? 1800. Damn. And guess what happened? Uh, we trained it down when it was a bearish day. You had many, uh, plenty of opportunity to get inside a trade. This, this is 125. Let me go to 930. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you, you understand it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking. I go to 930. Go, where's yeah. 930 at? Yeah, I'm looking at right now. Right, oh, look at that right. day. Look yeah. at that day. That's a perfect day. Look where it opened up. Oh, just June 3rd. No, yeah, no. Like, go, right? go to the right. You see those candles right. going up in the ADD? Yeah, right here. That one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, get real close to 930. that. 930. Okay, 930. Let me um let me draw a line here real quick. Yeah, go right yeah, go yeah, ahead. Okay. And then get close to it so we can see the whole picture. Oh, There's a big yeah, divergence yeah. right there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna explain it to you. Oh yeah, now, yeah. So if you see the price, right? It was kind of like in a zone, but the ADD was blown up to the upside. Oh yeah, and, and you see the yeah, price steady yeah, at the yeah, open, yeah. but the AD is telling you, listen, stocks are starting to recover. They're starting to right. push up in the open. Yeah. You know yeah. that that that's a divergence. Oh, that's powerful. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to explain oh, it powerful. to you guys. That's powerful. That's powerful as hell. <laughs> and you guys don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty powerful. I have to give you props for that one, man. That's pretty good. That's that's very good. I have yeah, to give bro. you props. That's 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 dope. <laughs> that I'm might be the dopest. To... That might be the dopest thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to explain. That's fire. So, that's fire. Even, look, and it opened at negative bearish day. Yeah. Eighteen hundred, right? That's fire. If I get close that's to it, fire. so I can show you, and plus yeah. the guys want to see. It's fire. See so if you go expand it for like an hour. You want to go to an hour chart? No, 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 I don't. I oh, you mean to you want to get big, you want to bigger, you want to bigger. Like the first hour. Yeah, correct. On that first day. Oh, because yeah, I want yeah, I want people yeah. to see the divergence of the 80. Oh. Is that side for buy and sell? Oh damn, that is tight, man. No, that's that's um that's tight. I right, so right. So that tight. day that's tight. so that so that day we opened at 1800 negative, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Negative, so the right. market was steady, but the AD, ADD started recovering from a bear market right. and it started pushing up really, really hard, right. showing you it mm -hmm. recovered. Mm -hmm. 800 mm -hmm. stocks recovered positive mm -hmm. when the market was flat in the open and right. then blew up. You wouldn't really take right. that long. Yeah, yeah, the long is nice. So now, if you look at the ADD, like around 12 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, okay. It's, at, it's 12 at neutral, what's AD max high? All uh, 3,000. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock is right, right. So if you look at the... Um, Here, right there. Yeah, correct. Right there. It was The market was dead because of the 
lunch hour. Right, right. The market was flat. But the okay. ABD was at neutral market at zero or 400 or plus 400. It was, an, I call that neutral. Yeah. That's the neutral area. That means that right now during the lunch, it yeah. was kind of neutral. Yeah, Not yeah. what was going on. And then it started recovering to the upside above zero. Okay. You see okay. that? So okay. they yeah, that, turn yeah. it up. Okay. So this, okay. let's look at the next day. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. 935 is here. Let me draw a line next to so next morning opened up right here, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Here. And look what happened. Look. So now go down. Oh, got... oh here, here, here. Okay, here. Okay. So the market was flat, right? So it opened right. up at I can't even see that. It it opened up at uh right here. Yeah, but right if you look right. at the chart, right? It, it it opened up bullish, right? On your on your indicators, it was right. bullish. Right, yeah. Right, but the ADD was telling you, look, the market is way below, and it's a bearish market. And look what happened at the end of the day. And it went down. Of so course, it started, it, it started off bullish, but then it kind of went down. That means you'd be buying puts. Yeah, so you'd Even have to get in. Might... You have ahead. to get in somewhere, like around here, somewhere, like where the entry would be. I guess. I usually go in. Doing the FVG development. So I use pro concept and market internals to get in. You know what so, I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm thinking is um is uh like okay, so the market opened up at 9 30 here. So it opened, so let me see if I get this on on um that's June eighth, right? So the market opened up here below Correct. below zero. And then it went up, it went a little, little bit, bit, a little bit, right? So you would have, if you was following this market, you would have got, if you draw a line here, you would have got in someplace, I guess for the sell over here, you'd have to wait, I guess, to take the, the short. No, you don't even have to wait because now you're looking at it as market sentiment. When it opened up, the, the engine of the market was telling you, we were down 1,200 stocks and the market was trying to push up. You see that I'm saying? So you could be buying puts on the highs all day until it pushes down. You see what I'm saying? Okay. If you so, look at the top. All right. So if the market's open at 930, there's it's a small little bullish run here yes, until, it, until it until it, uh, got flat, until it sold down i guess so you'd have to i'm just trying to see like if you start at 9 30 you take this little buy from here to here you'll lose and you wouldn't take yeah, that you lose buy. yeah you would you would lose because it's not enough pressure because of the oh. market yeah you wouldn't um, take that buy because the market internals are telling you we're in a bearish market because you because you opened up below zero correct there's more mm -hmm. Oh, internal wasn't showing strength for market. Okay. No, but look at it. It dropped. Yeah, it did. So it the dropped, market, yeah. Once the market realized, hey, we, we have more bearish stocks, boom, it dropped. So I guess it depends on if it opens up above zero or below zero or is it above correct. 1800? So okay. Correct. So if, oh, if, it's below, if it's below or above 1800, we're trending. Okay. If it's, so ahead. if it's between one thousand plus and one thousand um, negative, I call that a ranging day. It's, we're not trending. Okay. So we're basically bouncing back and forth. So above eighteen hundred, you is bullish. Between thousand and negative thousand, is trend. It's a regular market, like it's like consolidation. And below eighteen hundred, it's bearish. It's we're trending, so trending. so that means that okay. means so they say we open at five hundred negative, right? Okay. I know okay. we're ranging. We're not trending, so okay. I'm looking for bearish uh, puts for okay. the day. 
All right, so let, let's let's go to another random day. Yeah, and go ahead. June tenth. I got to pick June. Was this? It's June tenth. That's that's not that. Let's right? uh, see. I go over here to June tenth. Okay, June tenth is here. Let's just do. Let me go back to. Uh, uh, let me go back to June eleventh. And oh, that was June thirteenth. Here we go, thirteenth. Okay, so nine thirty is right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so market opens up at nine thirty, right? That's the way this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push up. Yeah, yeah. Big gap. Down. Okay, right there, right there, right there. Okay, nine thirty. Okay, so it opens up there, and this opened up. Crashing down. And yeah, look at the down. one minute though. If you look at the one minute, you'll catch the move even earlier. Okay, so let me do, Can you do that. Yeah, for let, that me, day? let me go one minute. Okay, I'm looking for June. What was it? June. Uh, what day was that? June uh, 19th, I think. June 19th, June 19th, okay, what about this, what about that move right there, can we look at that? Yeah, go use that one, that's fine, I okay. could explain that too, so okay. you gotta zoom in though, um, okay. so we could all see it, go like, you know, the first hour, okay, you could see the divergence right there anyways, so right, the market open bearish, right, now click it, zoom in, See if you could zoom in some more. Yeah. yeah. So we can see it. Yeah, there you go. And push back. Now, as you can see, right, the market open bearish, right? And it was at 2,000 negative. Right. But the price, if you look at the price of the QQQ, it was steady. It wasn't making no direction. It was just steady. But the ADD was telling you it was recovering quickly from a bearish market. So, so you talking about we moved up about 400 stocks to the upside, and in the open, the market was flat. That was oh, a good indication that the market was going to blow up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's what happened. It, the market followed through. That's a divergence. That's what we call a divergence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so then basically over here, let me just get this. Oh. So yeah, now, this is hard to look at. So, it, as long as the ADD is going mm -hmm. up, you could follow the trend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it looks, it, looks, it looks very good. So why did the market turn around on the uh, yeah, see, that's, turn bearish? Yeah, that's the question. See, I'm, because I'm going to explain it to you. Yeah, go. Cool. The reason the market ended red, as you know how it went down and turned down in the end of the day, get close to that, is because when the market recovered, right, it went up to a like 500, that's not, you know what I'm saying? Like it all, up to 500 plus stocks. So when the ADD started pushing down, there was only 500 stocks going up at that point. So that's where the market fell. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're in between 1800. So the market is not powerful to keep on going. Do I make sense? Yeah. So in between like a thousand, so if you put two lines there, you you call that you call that ranging markets. So if I put a line here, uh, yeah, like a thousand. Unfortunately, I gotta hop out. Please send record. Oh. oh. So maybe we could find like a a chart where it's like five hundred. We open up like around 500,000 and you'll see the market is not trending. It's actually just ranging. Yeah. Can we look at SPY? Yeah, go ahead. Look at SPY. That works on SPY. Yeah. 
Yeah, this trading view is weird, man. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. I see. Oh man, that's not that. So there's a gap right there. Nine thirty. Yeah. Nine thirty right here. Ooh. Oh, so this this open. Where's this at? With that gap right there. Yeah, correct. So the market opened up bullish over yeah, two thousand yeah. stocks, and right. that's what you. Damn. That's what that, that's the reason why you had spot blow up. Yeah, damn. So let me let me see if I can get a better picture of this. This opened up here. Correct. <clears throat> Oh, that's forever one on this side. Oh, that's that's where. I guess that's the. Uh, I think you said the. Um, so if it opened up here, right there. I guess I guess once it's on once. Uh, let's see, I guess it's once it's on the other side and it it'll it'll blow up. I guess no. Correct. Uh -huh. and, and, and if you see the line, it stayed above two thousand the whole day. Yeah. So, so what did the market do? Is it, it kept trending, and it did a breakout today. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like, so is this? I say okay. I see what you're saying. So this is this opened up. It opened up. Let me see if I can make this bigger so I can see what's going on here. Let's see. Uh, In Guidata. That makes sense. That makes sense. I gotta see if I can bring this down. How do I bring this down? Uh, this only allows me to. It allows me to move that way, but. Uh, I, I see what you're saying, though. If it's above 1800, it's above 1800, I guess. That means we're trending. Right. Let me get rid of this line here. So it, it opened up. What was it? It opened up here. Yeah. It opened up in 1978, somewhere from there. Yeah. So it's above 1800. So that means it's going to be going up. Correct. It happens every day. Yeah. This stuff happens every day. Now go to the next day so you can look at it. Yeah, so this is uh, June 24th. Let's go to June 23rd. Yeah, go to that. the next day. Look where it opened up. But if we didn't trend here, AD was dropping. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. I got to go to the camera. Right, so look, look where it opened up. Let me jump to the five minute time frame for a second. Yeah, go ahead. You can do that. Oh, there's a gap here at 9.30. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's grab these candles here. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, go to that day right there. That's a perfect day. So yeah. I could explain that. So this is 9.30. So I'm going to put a line here. 9.30 right here. Right? Right there. No, no. That, yeah. No, that was the close. That was the close. 9.30. You can go go to your left because I don't see no data. Where's the data at? The ADD. Yeah. yeah, let me see if I can find it. There it is, right there. It must have gap up. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, gapped up big time. Yeah, gapped yeah, up. Correct. That's what I'm saying. But if you go, just look at the next day, the the, the day before. Yeah, see. Yeah, correct. Yeah, see right here. Correct. Let's see. Yeah, it's a gap. It gapped up. So if it if it does, so it gapped up here. I'm saying candles, candles. It gapped up there. So it started off here at sixteen hundred. Tomorrow when I ran. That's still bullish. 
That's still a bullish day. So that means you could be taking calls on yeah. all the dips, no matter what. So when this, um, now let me ask this question. You could have held this, I guess, over the weekend and had the, you could get you could you could have been but I guess you wouldn't never know about the gap though. Correct, you wouldn't know. Yeah, right, but you wouldn't know. Yeah. Like yesterday, the yesterday's day trading day, that's a ranging market. The twenty. Then the, third, to your left. Yeah, to your left, that oh. one. Look at it way open up. Now, now you're gonna see a raging, uh, raging market. So when the market opens like that, it stays between below eighteen hundred and uh, okay, sixteen hundred. It's nine thirties right here. Right, nine thirties right there. Okay, so what do you have here? Where's the? Here, brother. I see my moves up. It's a nine thirty right there. That's a nine thirty right there. Right there, yeah, right here. But what, what about that one? What time yeah. is that? This is nine thirty, June sixteenth. Yeah. So what was the data? Go up yeah, with that. Uh, oh, that that must have been big. Eighteen hundred. Go go more down on your ADD. See if you can find it down. Oh, I see. Candles are down. Okay. You see that? Damn, it gap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah gap down. So you're only playing puts. You see that? It tells you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we're in a negative. Oh, so go crap. to the, You see that? Yeah, look how many. If you look at how many push plays you're going to play, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So, you so go, to, go to the next data. Because the next day, it's a ranging market. I want to show that. That's important. So look where it opened up. It opened up here. At 300 stocks. Right? Look how high it went. It went to, it opened up at 300 stocks, bullish, right? Yeah. Let's see this here. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's fix this thing here. Okay, so here, here are the stuff, here are the candles. All right, yeah, go. So if you look at it, right, it opened up at 400 stocks plus. 30. So when it opened up at 400 plus plus, I'm thinking, okay, this is a ranging market. We're not trending. We're going to bounce around left and right. As long as we stay be, um, between 800 and negative. 800 and positive 800. We're like ranging. It's a ranging yeah. market. And look what happened during the day. We range. We bounce to the upside, to the downside, to the upside, to the downside. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Correct. So, but the most important thing is we will still, during the whole day, we were still in a bullish sentiment range market. You need to have this on two, two different screens like this. So you can okay, see. do I make sense though? Yeah, you need to have two screens to see, like to have this, flip this up like this. Well, you so could you do it like it. that too. You can see it. Except, yeah, some people do it like that too, correct. Or take this, take this off. Um, yeah, you have yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff in here, but if I take yeah, it take off. yeah, what's actually an AD indicator call? It's called a advance and decline. It's better than this one. Okay. It's better than that one. Yeah, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. I just want you to look at the levels. So you yeah. see how that day right here, the the. It never went above 1800 or below the zero line. Yeah, but yeah. the whole day we were ranging. So that means I know if I was going into a position, I'm not going for a 20%, 40% calls because we're not trending. I'm going for 
five to ten percent profit. So when I go into calls, I'm only taking a scalp because we're not we're not trending with ranging though in the same area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you see that? So that's the importance of, about the ADD. So the ADD will tell you from the beginning, are we bullish? Are we trending? Are we ranging or chopping? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or so are we, are we bearish for the day or not? It tells you everything in the beginning. Yeah. During the day. Can you explain the indicator's name? Um, uh, yeah, it's um called um it's called uh market right internals right here by um Makit Zero M A K I T Zero. Yes. Market internals by Makit or Makit Zero. But... It's powerful, right? Yeah, it is powerful. Very powerful. You can um yeah, it's powerful. Now, if you know how you used to tick with the ADD, it's game over. Okay, so let's look at this next day here for a second. So here's 9.30, right? Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to draw a line there. So 9.30 is here. Yeah. The gap, gap up. So this this came up. This opened up um, at what? 15.14? Let's say 14.97? So... Let's see if I drew a line here. If I drew a line there, right? So at my here, right there, right? I'm trying to draw a line there. Here. Okay, so it opened up what at 15 something. So you're saying that, this? Go ahead. That, yes, that could be trending. Yes. Okay. And look, it stayed above that level. And look, we trended up a little bit. But when, when we hit that 2,000, that's when we really trend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which it did. It hit 2,000 and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, so on and, this... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say um, that if you're waiting for... Let me move this out the way. If you're waiting for um, this to open, I'm just looking at other confluences that could help people um, like grab the thing because like if it's like you're using the Parago, you're using this midline... It's above the midline, so it's like you got a gap here. So if you wait it, so if this market, if you was waiting at say nine thirty, and nine thirty opened up here, then this mm -hmm. opened up here. So I'm I'm assuming that you would have probably got some of these buy signals here. So if you open up at nine thirty, I guess you could wait to what like ten or something to jump on this trade for a buy. Correct. Nine, no, I would I would get it. Yes. Get in at right at nine thirty, or get in. Nine, no, no, nine. I will wait. See wait. how the market moves, right. and if it's if it stays above, I will get in. You'd have to put that one, that's why I use the one minute because the one minute shows you the FTGs, and, and and then it gives you entry points real quick. You know what I'm saying? If you look at it. So I'm going in and out all day. You're just doing like quick scalps. Yeah, I mean, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 930, let's, let's go to 930 real quick. Uh, way over here. Right at the gap right there, right? And look, so, so the second candle created in the and FSG, at the, you see that? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not there anymore because it got right. filled. Got filled right but, in, but... but you could imagine it. You could hit that that bounce play right there and get in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got 9.30. So here's a 9.30. Well, I guess I got more people down here, right? More candles down there. Where's it up here? We got more candles coming up at the top, right? I'm trying to find where's where's the where's the data for this here. Uh, data. 
I guess it's coming from a, a lower part, right? The rest of the data here. Yeah. The rest of the data for here. So yeah, so uh, use the ADD as a indicator to know if it's a bullish day, trend day, range day, bearish day, and then use smart money concept, the pro concept to get into the uh, positions that you need to get in. Okay, so let's let's look at this for a second. This is a yeah. that's nine thirty. Nine thirty is right. 930 is uh 930 is that, right. yeah that's a gap that's a gap uh, down yeah 930 is right here all right so let me see if i can find the gap down okay it's right there gap down right there so this has to be gap down right this here yeah okay see down there more right yeah that's a gap just okay, okay, really okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, so, all right. So this, this let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go up here a little bit. All right. So the market opened up at nine thirty. Was it nine thirty? Nine thirty. Okay. Opened up at nine thirty. Uh, and it opened up here. It opened up below yes. negative, right? So the the ADD is only good for like the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500. Okay. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But 90% of the population trade those three index. Right. Yeah, so you can use, you can use this to um, help you with finding the, the trade of the day. Yeah. <clears throat> But this thing here opened up, so you would, I guess you would have waited here. That's no, like you, you'd be playing puts on that day when it gapped down, yeah. and you have, and the ADD stay flat the whole day. Yeah. We turned it downwards the whole day. There right. was a couple of puts uh, opportunities you could have taken. Yeah. You can work this on 15 minute time frame too. Okay, the five is good. Yeah. So the market opened up. Let me make this bigger up here. Let me pick up there. Oh, yeah. So the market opened up here at 9 30. So yeah. it opened up here at 9 30, right here at 9 30. All right, so 9.30, so it gapped. So once this opened up here, it never came above that line. So it was it was, it was a downtrend the rest of the day. Correct. It was yeah. downtrend all day, you know, I mean. So, so, so Scott can make this, I'm just wondering if Scott can put this in conjunction with making it all one indicator and just using different parts of the indicators. Cause that's all I use. I use different parts of the indicators to, to help me trade. Co yeah, correct. This is a good idea, man. You mentioned yeah. it in the chat today. Yeah, if he can do that, then he's the bomb. I mean, he's the bomb anyway, but this would be this would be dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see? That makes a lot of sense, man, yeah. So you can create yeah. rules for this. You can create rules for this. You wait for 9.30 and see where it opens up. And it opened up right here. It so you know it's an bearish. Bearish day. Yeah, yeah, automatic. Okay, so let's let's let me. This is this gets gets addictive. This gets addictive, man. Oh, look at that one! Look at that one. Wait, open up. Or right here, or oh, that's one o'clock. No, no, the yeah, next day. You said right open up like to like zero. Thirty. Which on where? The next day. Where? Going to left or right? Left. Left. Well, look where it opened up. It opened up at zero. Well, it opened oh, up at, right here, right here, yeah, right here. Yeah, click on that. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Let's so look at that. Right here. Yeah, you can use it on that. You can use it on that 100. So that's 930 right there, right? Okay. So it opened up below. Look at the gap thousand, on that. Right? Yeah, look at the gap on that. Oh, that's a big thing. gap, yeah. 
That's a big gap. So let me let me make these candles. See these candles yeah, here. And, and look, the here. ADD, so the ADD kept going downwards, so it went from positive to negative. Yeah, but the so AD, but we wasn't trending that day. We wasn't trending. If you look at the market, we had a small range. Yeah, this, look, this is consolidation here, right? Consolidation right here. That's a big gap down. It is, yeah. They got big dumped. So it was down here. And it opened up up here. Correct. And then it went down. Oh, damn. Yeah, so but, we, but if you look how the, the spy moved, we didn't really do anything. Like it was a small range for the day. You see that? Yeah. So, so go ahead. No, go ahead. 930. 930. So this would be. I'm just trying to get a bear here. I see I did this right here. Right there. Okay. So let me, let me uh, can I open this up? I wish there was a way to open up the, the, the candles up here and keep it the same. You can't do that, can you? Uh, the whole chart. Okay, well, that's fine. So let's see. So the day opened up right here. Correct. Okay. They so, opened up right there. So I would call that in the, in the day when it opens up, and the candle goes down quickly to zero. I would call I I would call that a neutral a neutral day. Yeah. It could be bullish or bearish, and we're not trending. We're chopping around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And look yeah. what happened for the day. Chop yeah, all chopping, day. yeah, chopping, yeah. Because you you really can't get into any, anything here. Like, there's just Correct. not enough. There's only. Like you can't do sales here, even though this sell signal would be a would be a bad sell signal. But I mean, you it does got burned. Yeah, yeah, it got burned. But it does go down at the end of the day, though. Yeah, correct. So, but it, it's slow, though. It's slow, right? Yeah. So you'd have to. I mean, it's not a very good. It's not a very trading. good. Yeah, yeah. It's not, that's not a very good trading for that for that spy. Yeah. Correct. So when you trade those days, you're not looking for twenty percent options. You're looking for five, ten percent max. So you already yeah. know, okay, we're not moving that much for the day. So I'm gonna buy the lows and I'm gonna sell the highs. And I'm looking for five percent profit for, for the day. Cause we're not yeah. trending, we're not making big moves. So yeah. my expectations should be small. Right, right. So you so, should know. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. So you can use this on NOS 100. I think someone else was saying. Yeah, put it. Yeah, put it there. So you can see it. Okay. Same thing. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Okay, so let me um open up my 30. But, but remember the NOS 100, it shows the pre-market and the aftermarket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Man. So if I'm looking at if I'm looking at this, where is the so, yeah. I'm trying to find where the um see I don't like I don't like the way this trading view is acting up. You see how the the lower lows are down here? Yeah. That's, jack, that's jacked up. What are all those indicators underneath? Well these the are the, yeah, these are from see how you see how the, Trading view is weird. It's like you have, I had to split them, but it's like, okay, if you add it to a chart and you have all the other indicators on there, the indicator gets split. You see how I have two down here? Yeah. The, the ones down here should only be like RSIs and these type of things. So <clears throat> when you combine different indicators, the conf the screen for trading view gets jacked up. I noticed that. It's oh, weird. yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. See, so if I take this off, see how it's gone? Now you can uh, see it much better. Right, but I'd have to take yeah. I'd have to take this off, and then re-add it. So yeah. it get up there. That's that's that's, that's the problem. Um, yeah. But that's all good. I can just take this off. So I don't, I don't need it. So let's see. I'm trying to see where the other candles are. Where the other candles are. Here. So now look at that day, right? So we open up bullish. Nine thirty. Right? Right? Nine thirty. Okay. Nine thirty. Right. Correct. So, so we open right? up bullish that day. At 1200. So that yeah. day, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's bullish 
and it's a pretty strong trend. And look what happened. It, it blew up, right? It went up and then went back down to the zero line and then yeah. went back up. So right. you were looking for bullish plays for the day. Because the market is telling you that we're bullish for the day. So that means in the opening, you had you had a, a bullish play right there. And at the end of the day, you had a bullish play right there. Okay, so... The overall market was healthy that day. Yeah. Because it's above zero. There's more stocks going up well, than zero. down. So since this, so since this opened up um, above zero, we're thinking that this is going to be a bullish day, even though we've got the market kind of sold off a little bit. Yes. So you'd have to wait until, I guess. But I, the the way I play is I use pro concept. Go to the go to the one minute, and you're gonna see like, yeah. Go to the one minute. See maybe you can see it. I use pro pro concept, so I'm go I'm gonna go into sweeps when it when there's a low high. I might sweep that with the FVG to show me to get in. You know what I'm saying? So that day we open up big. That was today. On a, on a, on a minute time frame. Today, yeah. So yeah, that was today. This this year, this year. All right, so this opened up at nineteen eighty five, which is above. This, this here. Okay, so if I did, so if I came in this market here, the market opened up above. 18, 1800. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see, like, if you have, if you have, like, um, influences here for someone that doesn't know. Okay. So I guess one has to open up above uh, 1800, right? That's what you're saying? Yeah, for a trend day. Okay, for that's that's for bullish though, or correct. Okay, so I would say for for buys, uh, open above eight hundred. Eight hundred trend day. That's a trend day. Okay, we're trending up. Trending up, yeah. Anything above zero, you should be calling it. Well, anything above 500, you should be calling it a bullish day. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Above 500 is when it opens up. Yeah. Well, or oh, it stays above 500, call it a bullish day or oh, above zero. Right. Well, above zero. Even though, even though it came down a little bit here, but still, it's still bullish. It's still bullish. And they right. said, look, it went down to what? 1,600 stocks going up. That's yeah. still bullish to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Right. Just because 200 companies went down, and you still have 1,600 companies going up. Yeah. You see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're still bullish for the day. So... Yeah, well, let's take go a look. Let's go, let's go to another day. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Here's here's nine thirty, but this would be terrible, I guess, right? So yeah, you can go same, there. The same day. Let me go. But you gotta day. bring your ADD down because that might be a uh, negative. You gotta find the ADD. That's why I use the QQQ because then you don't have to search for the ADD. Because there's no pre market or after market. Just okay. go to the QQQs. So this is a. Uh, okay, here's, here's, here's. That's the same 23. Let me get rid of this. Oh, right no, here. that's. A, yeah, we, we saw that one. So I that one. Through. That one was a bullish day, but we wasn't trending. You know what I'm saying? So it stayed in that range of the market. 
as you can see, we wasn't trending. It stayed in uh, two levels. Look, look at that one. That, that's a recovery. That happens all the time, too. So it could, the market started negative, right? So the negative, the so the negative. 2000. The negative. But it recovered really, really quickly back to zero. Boom. That so the, the market recovered really quickly yeah. from a bearish day. It, that, that's well, a good reading. Right. So you could have, you could have, if you were looking at this market here, this 930. Yes. Yeah, if you could look, if you could find that market in the one minute, I guarantee you, you will see divergence. I, see. I don't know if you could find it. Do you find uh, it? Uh, oh, yeah, that's the day. Now go find the ADD. It was bearish. Antarctica, really? Where'd you get that? I wonder how life oh, over there. Oh, Antarctica, dang, we every, everywhere, man. That's dope. Yo, who lives there? No, I don't know. But I've never been there. No, <laughs> Antarctica. Okay. This what makes this stuff so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I have to. Yeah, you ain't gonna find it. Yeah. Um, let me just. Uh, I like. Yeah, I, like yeah. I saw the saw there. I saw. So it's nine thirty yeah. here. Okay, nine thirty right there. So look at this. This is nine thirty yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Opened up. Road to the Middle yeah. Earth. Yeah. So it started here. Uh -huh. It's above. Yeah, I can see this being a bias. This is a tricky market here, though. So, so not so. This is how I will play this market, right? It opens at one thousand. Right. So I will call that. I will call that a bullish range day. We're not trending, but I'm looking for bullish buys only. So, correct. Look, you had a bullish buy right there in the open. Boom, right? right? It went to the highs. Yeah. So, this and is my market. This retrace it. Right, the market retraces okay. back to support, and you could have another buy. Because yeah, overall, but, so you had two nice plays. Yeah, I looked at if you were looking at this patiently, you'd have to get in. If this was like support here. Correct. Just trying to see support right here. You'd have to get in, but you have to be very patient. You have to get in like right here, take it up. I guess if you would have got the buy something right here, but that'd have been a tricky buy. That that'd have been a tricky play. I mean, you I see what you're saying. You could have taken it, but that'd have been a tricky play. Hey, yeah. Look at that divergent sell through. Yeah, yeah but I have to go back to the one minute, but like every time you go to the one minute, we lose it. Yeah. But then so, this could have been another play that you would have held because you could have held this trade. This would have been like okay. if you entered here more or come down here and get retests. This is yeah. like, what is at the lunch. Correct. So if we got retested that support, you look at the ADD, but you know what? It's a neutral it's a neutral market at that point. Yeah. There's but no way that support is gonna be broken. Right. It then doesn't it happen to yeah. But then it kind of goes up too, right around here. So around 225, you could have got back in this Correct. and jumped up for a little bit. How many pips is this? Um, I don't, I don't know. From here, I mean, if you got in here, yeah, here to here would have been like 205, 209 pips. Damn. So that would have been okay. That's not a bad trade for. Um, Nas in the afternoon when it's trapping like that, that's not bad. Is, is that pretty good? I don't know. It's pretty I good. Don't... It, is, it is pretty good because you could have gotten, you. I mean, you could have got 200, 200 pips off this move here because the moves are not great today. I mean, that day, I'm not saying today, but but using this play here, you could have done that because you're yeah. trying to find out whether we get into a trade. Well, you could have gotten trading we're in here someplace, but you're not knowing what these candles are doing until you get some buy signals or get some, um, you know, some uh, like this would have been a nice little sell here, but you would never have known that. I guess you would, if you were looking at, if unless you would have came that. up here, yeah. But some people would have taken that if you came here, because you could have used the ideas of price action came up here and then came down. But I know what you're saying. <clears throat> this is tricky because you have to be patient enough to wait. But if you're using this here, this would have been a nice play right here. This right here, once this candle, once this candle closed above this little zero, 
Yeah. Then I would have taken the trade right there. Yeah. I would have. I would have taken that trade right there. That's a good trade. All right. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's a good play. Let me see if I can find some other ones on here. Because some of these plays, because like Nas will give you some good plays during the week. Oh, here's a nice one. Here, look. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, that, that's, that's nice. a recover play. Yeah, yeah, we look at that. From a bearish market to a bullish market. Okay. So there's a couple of things in here you could have dealt with because you could have came in here and said, okay, well, here's the support line. Of it. And then the support line never broke. That's 8 o'clock. So if you're looking at market pre-market, 8 o'clock, 8.15, 8 8.20, boom, and 9 o'clock. It's high time frames too, sir. Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm, just trying to show, yeah. I'm just trying to show you guys the levels of the ADD so you guys understand, like, because it's important to be a good um, trader. It's important to know when this is a trend day, chop day, branch day. That's really important. Right. Came here. Look above, at that. Above so 1,500. It, yeah. Correct. So it was bullish in the beginning, and then the market retraced. Yeah. It happens. You know, I guess you'd have to see, you'd have to see, like, okay, you got this reversal sign up here, and then you got some, some, you got some, some resistance up here too. So this could have been a nice play. If you, I guess you had to wait it. This is um, nine o'clock, so this would have been a nice play down. Yeah. Would you cross here? Yeah, I mean, you can work, you can work this out. It works out. It works out. And then you could use the tick with the ADD, which I do that. You know, the ticks oh. is the ticks this, pretty powerful too. Yeah, well, I like I like the way this looks because um this even though this was recovery here, but it got a bicycle right here right out the gate at nine thirty. Yeah. So that could have been a, this would have been a, this would have been a nice play right here <sighs> from here to here. This would have oh, been a nice play from here. For the takes, I use the same guy. So you, you could use the same indicator twice. So you, you could make one the ADD and the and the next one the takes. Yeah, you have to so have more indicators on here. Correct. I have to you have to get a better pro, better plan. My only like, five. That's that's pretty good though. That's pretty tight, right? That's tight. Specific around here. You just gotta line everything up. Um, let's see what this is here. So this. What this settings do you use for takes? The takes, I only use it max 15 minutes. But I usually use it in the one minute because if you understand how divergence mm -hmm. work and you get used to with ADD and the takes working together is powerful. So it all depends. You have to learn how to use it, though, you know? Yeah, the it takes us a little bit more complicated. So we should have a Zoom on just basically backtesting this thing, like, over the last two or three weeks. Because I'm seeing, I'm starting to see, like, like I said, if you open up above 1,800, you're going to be bullish. If you open up below 1,800, you're going to be bearish. So you have some recoveries. That's correct. Yes. And look, like, look at this day, right? That day you just passed. Right here. Look at it, right? It was a, it opened up bullish and it stayed right. above zero. Look right. how many call plays you could have played. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the day. You could have one, two, three plays. Yeah, for I guess the you'd day. have to, you'd have to, you have to dismiss this other retracements down here. Yeah, you want that retracement because, like, oh, look, look at the market. It's retracing really hard, but the market internals, the ADD, showing me that we're above zero. We're still bullish market. Right, right. So then look what happened. It blew up. Game yeah. over. Yeah. You'd have to have enough patience to know because if you see the candles going up and down, you'd be losing your shit. <laughs> but the market internals are saying that you're going up because it's above zero. <clears throat> that makes yeah. sense. But like I said, I use the market internal with the pro concept. So I'm yeah. using the pro concept too, you know? Yeah. Let me see if I can get a better screen, man. 
So many screens are kind of kind of wacky. Let's see if I can get a better screen here. Yeah, it's got to be a way. It's got to be a way to incorporate all these in one, like Mark internals, Pro Waves, so much other stuff. It got to be a way to do that. Yeah, correct. Because all this stuff is 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 viable. <clears throat> you know. All right. Let's yeah. see if I, can, if I can get a. So you should have to take the Pro Waves off. Um, how many? That's only what five indicators. Should have to take the Pro Waves off. Unless you just have to have two different sessions, like you just worked with. Um, let me see if I take this off. Okay, that looks pretty good. So if I come in here and do uh, more internals, you can do this here like this. I think that guys want to see the ticks. Yeah, leave it like that. Do not change anything. That's the ticks right there. Okay. Those are the ticks. So let's look at this for a second. Let's look at. So basically how the ticks work is a basket of stocks. Ticks move when big money grab a basket. Because when big money trade, they don't trade one stock. They trade baskets of stocks at once. So that's the ticks. So what the ticks... So when the ticks move, the market moves. The ticks yeah. is what making the the highs and the lows of the day. Me personally, I like and you, this. You like the ADD? Yeah, yeah I do. I do. Yeah, ADD I like the ADD. Like, that, that's just me for me. That's me personally, but you know, that's, that's yeah. not somebody else. I'm trying to see like nine thirty. Here's nine thirty right here. Okay, so let me see. So this thing. This thing opened up above zero. Yeah, and then it, it went down below zero. Went down, went down below zero. So where's nine thirty here? So nine thirty is right here. This would have been a tricky market here to to, to get. Yeah, it's because it's not trending; it's ranging. Yeah, ranging, yeah. You know, and, and the and the internals, the ADD told you that the market is ranging; it's not doing anything. You know. And that's on the 15 minute. So yeah, that would have been. So there you go. So yeah, so the it's... market is the market is ranging that day. Yeah, that would have been a terrible. That would have been a terrible day to trade this. Co I mean, correct. Because you know, people trade the same. They play the same stock all day, every day. So that's what's important to know if it's trending, is it ranging, is it chopping. Like this would have been yeah. nice here. Yeah, that's sweet. Look, so it op it, it opened negative two thousand and blew up. Yeah. To the upside, you know, yeah. it was beautiful. Yeah, I guess you know, I have to use other confluences. Like I would have had a support line here, but I'm trying to find um another. I want to find another one that's uh. We gotta have a we gotta have a we gotta have a day where we trade New York live and look at this live and see how it looks that kinda you can go in the past and so we're good, but yeah. This is heavy, man. You know, this is just ranging here at 9 30. That's pretty solid, right? You like it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's, it's good. I just wish it, it could be everything needs to be incorporated into one thing. That's yeah, a thing. Correct. So and... Dax was talking about 30% of the market moves by like, you know, using Apple, Amazon, Netflix. So I, I sent a message to Scott. Maybe he could have the ADD plus another line with the ADD that tracks the 30 biggest heavy stocks in, in the NASDAQ or, or in the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones. That'd be huge. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, man, that'd be huge too. Because you can see, even this is like a choppy market here. This has been, but you could have grabbed this. This would have been nice. You could have grabbed this. Yeah, you could have I mean, grabbed that. Look here, right here. I mean, it's only 189 pips, but I mean, I think point point of one would have gave you what, um, 18 bucks. So I mean, yeah. there's some movement. It's not a lot, yeah. but some movements are better than other days, I guess. Correct. 
it, it didn't open above 1800. It opened, uh, what, 1500, something like that? Yeah, it opened up at 1500. So, yeah, so it was a bullish day in the open. Right. You know? And then it kind of just went. Correct. Sometimes yeah. the ADD falls just like that. Yeah. It does happen. Yeah, That's why I say, like, you know, use the ADD, but also use the pro concept. You have to use both to be way more successful. Yeah. And then before you know it, you'll be doing four trades a day, three, t and you'll be winning every time. You know? Yeah. If you're looking at this one, this is 9.30. Yeah. 9.30 is right. 9.30 is right. Here, right there. Yeah, this makes sense. 9.30 right here. Correct. So this, this is uh, this is above 1,800. So, you know, it opened up down here, I guess. So if you look at it, when it went down, right, that's it a liquidity down. grab. They grabbed that liquidity from the lows and then they push the market higher. You see that? Yeah. You would take that push up when it went down. That that should have been your first trade right there. Right here, right? From yeah. The, yeah, from the support area. Correct. Yeah. So you'd have to come in here. Um, and this this would have been this would have been a, a good trade to to get in, but You'd have to be very disciplined because somebody could have got burned on this one here because you've got the long wicks here. So, <clears throat> yes, correct. So, but that's what I'm saying. It opened up bullish, right? Yeah. So you're only you're only looking for bullish plays. Oh, right. the market's falling. Let's see what happens next. I mean, the, it, the market's falling, but it opened up bullish. The 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 market looks bullish. So. Once that bullish bounce play happened, you would have got in, you know? I usually don't go in right away when the market opens. I usually wait. So let's see if for, we can play this. For a setup. So let's see if we can replay this. So I'm going to replay it. That's what I love about trading view. So yeah. if we replay it, let's see what happens. Where's the ADD? Uh, yeah, that's just tight. So I think we went down. So look for negative side. Look at a negative side. You gotta go down the ADD. Go down. Go down. Okay, here. Oh, oh, we, you know what it is? Because we're in the aftermarket or pre-market. So play the QQQ instead. Oh, here we go. Look. So we open up. Look. Can you go slower on that? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go way slower than that. See, maybe we go back. Yeah, do the replays on the QQQ on the ETF so that we don't have to look for the ADD. So take the NASDAQ, yeah, yeah, use that instead. See how it's easier? So then just pick a day and then we'll play it. Well, and now on the indicator, take the labels out. And you see, you see all that blue line. That those are labels. Oh. Take those out. Yeah. Yeah. Just take all those lines out. All these. Yeah. These. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. <clears throat> Why don't there you go. Hold that other one here, though. Yeah, you missed it. Oh yeah. Show labels. labels right there. Oh God. Okay. Right, so, so just pick a day. Right. Yeah, pick a day and and play it out. Right here. From the big yeah, from the beginning, and I'll tell you how my process works. 
right here. Let's do it. Let's do the market close right here. How about that? How about that? Okay, right there. So we do close. again. Go slow. All right. So look, stop right there. Right, the market open up. Right, to the is that nine thirty? No, yes. it's towards the end of the day. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's go to the next day. We don't want that. Go to the next day. Five thirty-five. <clears throat> Getting there. Be just one more, one more, one more to go. <clears throat> Was it four thirty? Oh, can you go to the next day or no? We getting there? Yeah, I'm getting there. Forty five. Let me make this a little bit faster. All right, there, stop. All right we gap up. Look, we gap up, right? Stop. We gap up right here. Okay. So now we're at two thousand. You see that? Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the F. I'm taking the first FVG entry, no matter what. I'm taking it. I'm taking it no matter what. Okay. So you're, you're taking a buy right in this market right here. On the one minute, though. Because on the five minute, you're going to miss the, you're going to miss the move. Correct. So you, if, you, if you could go to the one minute on this play, you could see it. Can you do that? You see that? You would have got in. Like it would, you would have got in. You see that FPG right there, the first one? Yeah, right here. Look, it opened up. It opened up at 2000. Boom, it tested the FPG in the morning. Boom, I would have got in. That's 20% right there. Right here, yeah, right here, yeah. 20% profit right there. Yeah, yeah. Because I know the market is bullish. We're trending. I'm taking that trade. No questions asked. Right, right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you you get in, you got the you got in right in when the bell rang. I right there. Right there. Yeah. No, I wouldn't wait. Yeah, I wouldn't wait until the FCG develops. Correct. So right. Oh, this is some great stuff. Thank you. Okay. So look, yeah. it's testing that right. So now mm -hmm. it's testing that FCG, the indicator on the pro concept. Um, yeah. I'm looking at ADD. When the ADD turns, I'm going in. You see that? Boom. That's not an easy trade. You see man, that? You could have held this trade. I mean, yeah, have... bro. Like, I yeah. mean, you could, you want to take profit because you never know. Right, Look, right. Never know, right? Never know. That would be my second trade right there. Boom. Man, you could have drew a trend line and a trend line bounce here and took it up again. So that's double confluence with the oh, FEG. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have yeah. hit two easy trades. Two easy trades for the day, right? What, what, what day? That's the ADD. That's yeah. another 20%. So right. now you're looking at forty percent profit for the day. Yeah. So here's another question. The question I would be interested in is when you start doing the prop firms. I don't know if the Dana Pro, if we have for 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 options or not. But this would be great because you can't trade QQQ on Hugo's way or KTOFX, what I use for for forex. But you have to find. I'd have to you have to go to I guess Ameritrade or something like that. But with this type of information, you kill it. Correct. I will kill yeah. it. Yeah. I will I kill it, bro. I gotta find the broker that allows you to do this. Like I gotta, I think uh, Ameritrade. I have a uh, Ameritrade. I forgot. Um, uh, what the hell I got? I can't remember that. But I don't, I don't use it though. Fidelity, yeah. but I got Fidelity. But oh, this is this is some good. This is some good stuff, man. Good stuff, right? Oh yeah, good stuff, man. This is good stuff. Yeah, yeah that's mocking tunnels, bro. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. So. That's good stuff. Let me see on some other days here. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, see, that was two easy trades. I just showed you. Easy gap right there, yeah. Let's see it over here. Yeah, right so there. like, 
pick another day. Can you pick another day and play it? Or yeah, I'm going to do it right now. This day right here. This day right there. Right in here. This this right here. Let's see what this does. Yeah. So yeah, press press on that. So press on that. See, maybe we could play that day. Because I I trade out I trade off the one minute. Okay, so let's see. Let me just want to see if I can get the the candles right. Yeah, I wish there was a function that could get this the way you wanted to get it, but that's all good. Yeah, I know. Uh, so let's just let's, let's do replay right, right. Well, yeah, right there. Yeah, do right, right there. Let's, let's do, we'll do right there. How about that? Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, so the market is gonna stop. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's the ADD? Okay, so that's an boom, boom. Okay, open right okay. there. Oh, it's not right there. Okay, so right there. I'm uh -huh. like, holy crap, the market opened bullish, but right. we're not trending. We're not trending. So when that happens, I'm like, okay, we're below 1800. We're not uh -huh. trending, but mm -hmm. we're bullish. Okay, so let's, let's go. Continue. So I'm looking for a bullish play right here. Okay. I'm waiting for a bullish play. So now we're going down. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I would have taken that trade. Buy, yeah. That after right there. right there, I, I would have taken that. Yeah, you've been a little drawdown. See, now you look at you. You got it. You would have. Right, that's that, that'd have been, that'd have been a tricky one. That's a tricky one because that, that, that tricky one. Oh, there that's because... a gap. I didn't see that. I didn't see the, that. I'm sorry. The, the gap here? I didn't see that gap. That gap fill. No, no, like on the chart. You mean because here? Your right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a gap. That's the wrong FHG. That's the reason I messed up right here. I wish I could see better. It's, I'm basically on my phone. So, oh, so yeah. we'll, let's continue, right? So you wait for the first FHG. Oh, right there. That's a potential entry. We got to wait for the first fair value gap, and then you get in. This would have been a tough one here. Now we're still waiting for the fair value gap. We're still waiting. We know it's a bullish day. 800, right? We're still looking for a bullish day. Keep going. <clears throat> so we're going to wait. Keep going. So it's trying to fill that gap. See that? It filled that gap. We're still in a bullish day. We wait. We, the trade haven't come yet. We're not going for puts. Right, so we're waiting. Boom, boom, right there. That's your first trade. You see that uh, fair value gap? That's your first one all day for 9 30. For a bullish, so you'd, have to wait. you'd have to wait 20 minutes to get it correct. So you wait, yeah. boom, you would have got in right, right there. Yeah, let's see. Go see what happens. Boom, yeah. you got paid. Now we're not ranging. Listen, we're not trending. So don't be greedy with the profit. That would have been your first trade. You would have made a profit, right? So now we're waiting for the next bullish play. We know the market's going to pull back down. So we're waiting for the next play. <coughs> so now we, we look like we're retracing, right? So we're going to wait for the lows and wait for the next fair value gap to go to the upside. So we wait. I'm not taking that trade because it's a bullish day. You could get burned real quick, right? So we're waiting. Keep going. We're waiting. That's why I like this pro concept because it helps. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You see how it filled that fig value gap because it's yeah. look it's bullish you that means if you went if you went puts on a bullish day you would have got burned right there yeah. so I wouldn't take that trade I'm still waiting for my second trade 
So we're going down. And and by being patient, you you'll be uh, you'll make more money, and you know what I'm saying, and you'll be more accurate. That's what you want to do, you know. This would have been a nice play right here. This little cell right here. At yeah, you could have done two that. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, correct. Look, but and, and then you look at internals. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You just have to back test it and try to see where you can get in at. But this this is pretty good. Yeah, keep going, keep going. We're gonna have another play. So now we're still waiting. Look at that breakout. Now you got a that could be a fit value gap right here. Let's see if it develops it when it stops. I don't see one. Why is that? It should be a fair value gap right there. That's kind of weird. You yeah. see that? It's missing a fair value gap. Yeah. Well, it's this would have been weird. this would have been a nice play here to the top side. This would have been um, yeah, you would have got three three right here, yeah, because it hit it never hit this it never hit the support zone, never came back. So I guess you would have started here and came back to I it. I usually here, wait, wait for, for that fair value gap. I always wait for the fair value gap. No matter what, I don't take the support and the resistance. Well, I don't. One thing I've I learned just, is that the lower lows and the higher highs playing off the support and resistance, along with the fair value gaps, along with correct. I, I guess here, this would have been nice to play from here. Maybe this would have been hard to tell, but right in here, because once once this here, because you, you're right, right in here, once price came and broke this little gap here, retested, it was off to the bro, races. That's it, and came then back down here, it? yeah. Yeah, and this is another this is this is another entry right here. So you had the entry right here, one, two, taking all the way up. This is like some retracement crap. But this would have been a nice little play. What what day is yeah, this? Cool. This is uh, June twenty third. So I'm sure someone out there June twenty third won. But the nice thing about this is that you can use it on um US thirty and NAS. You could kill US thirty NAS. And when, yeah. when NAS and US thirty is trending. When they're trending, when they when they when they're ranging, they suck. But when they're trending, you can get some pips. I mean, you get two hundred pips on Nas. If you can get two hundred pips on Nas, you're doing good. That's not bad. Yeah, but yeah, this is good. This is yeah. powerful, man. It's a powerful tool, yeah, man. This is... I'm definitely gonna use this, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's hardcore, right? It's hardcore. Yeah, you're right. It's hardcore. And once you master it and you learn how to read it perfectly, forget about it. Yeah, it's, it's hardcore. Yeah, I just wish Scott develops it better. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta keep asking him, keep pinging him up. I know he's busy, he's yeah. busy, but he's a good dude, man. He's all right. But on that note, gentlemen, I gotta break out. But I got the thing recorded. Ah, uh, yeah, no, and, that's good. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let me uh, render it, record it, and I put it in the group. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, brother. Be safe. All right, you too, man. All right, peace. Peace. That was good stuff.